What the heck? My budget's cut again? Priorities, Steve. What could be more important than ocean research? Bugs. Bugs? Bugs. I'm gonna need more than that. You always do, Steve. Let me fill you in. Well, you've been marinating under the sea, there's been a bug apocalypse up here on Earth. That's why you're eating shoots and leaves. That's why I'm eating shoots and leaves? You mean, you're saying all the pollinators are gone? It's a, a bug apocalypse? An insect Armageddon? That's why my windshield is so clean? Exactly. It's even called the windshield effect. It says right here, German researchers published a peer review article saying we've lost 75% of the world's insect mass over the past 20 years. Oh, peer reviewed. You know I hate those words. Not everyone can be on the cutting edge, Steve. It says here one guy recognized the problem when he stopped getting bugs in his teeth on bike rides. So there might be an upside. Well, what can I do with that? I need money. Submarines aren't cheap. Don't look at me. I've already given you all the money I have. And not my parents' money either. Not a penny more for his shenanigans. That's a quote. She won't give me any money. No, not her parents' money either. What am I gonna do? You could pursue government grants like an honest scientist. The way I do. Look at me. No one's gonna give me a grant. I wouldn't give me a grant. Maybe you could send an intern. Alistair, that's brilliant. I'll send all my interns. If they can prove the bug again is fake news, people will put their focus back on the ocean. I'll get my funding back. Steven, you know the web of life includes both the ocean Klaus, and the land. Klaus, call the interns. We're all interconnected. We've got to test the windshield effect for science. Hello? Find bugs. Okay, Steve. I'm on it. Steve? There's bugs in here. We think we found an insect. Oh no, it's just a closed pit. All I find is cash! How are the interns doing? They're going all out. But no insects yet. None. Zip. Zilcho. Now I'm eating ferns. The bug apocalypse is relevant to our work, you know. Really? How so? Well, fish eat bugs, don't they? Yeah. So, no bugs. No fish! Great angle. I can hook a sponsor with that. Who are you? I speak for all things. Look, it's me. I don't go in for that hippie stuff. Oh, you really? You want it straight? I'm an aristocrat. I can take it. Here you go. It's all about love. Huh. Maybe I can't take it. Those darn walls that humans build, it's all an illusion. Love is the only reality. Wait, even my parents' money? That's an illusion? Yeah, you bet, especially your parents' money. We're all huddled together on a ball of rock hurtling through space. We've got to stop using pesticides and herbicides. It just breeds death. And instead build gardens of life to provide for all of Gaia. It's our only hope. We must become part of the solution and not be part of the problem. You make it sound so bleak. So bleak? Listen, Eleanor, my friend and my sister, we've left the safe harbor of nature behind. We must turn this ship around and we have to do it now. But how? If you're into politics, I'd suggest the Green New Deal. If not, there is another way. Another way? What is it? Love! Love. Yeah, that's what you said. Now what does that mean in practical terms? 
Okay, let me explain this, okay? Our consciousness creates our reality. And if enough of us concentrate every day on loving bugs, loving each other, and loving all life on Earth, a new reality will come into being. Once we're surrounded by love and light, the pollinators will again flourish. Gaia will grow and we can continue our ride on the cosmic carousel. And if we don't? If we don't, if the pollinators completely disappear. Well, what then? We live on ferns? Yeah, not even ferns. Without pollinators, life on our planet will end. All flora, all fauna, everything we know will be gone. The cycle of life will have to begin anew from scratch. Eleanor, Eleanor, an intern found a book. Look, it's a miracle. A real life bug? Yes, look, a bug. Steve, tell it you love it. What? Tell it. The bug? Yes, Steve, we must love the bugs as we love ourselves, lest we become grist for the cosmic mill. Eleanor, you're such a poet. I love you. Not me, the bug. Oh, all right. Uh, I love you. You have to mean it. Damn it, Eleanor, I'm trying.